Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ What is the first thing Allah wanted us to know about Ramadan? شَهْرُ رَمَضَانِ أَلَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ The first thing He told us about the ayah, the month of Ramadan is the one in which the Qur'an was sent out. There's no mention of what yet, Master. There's no mention of fasting. The only thing, this is a month, the Qur'an came down in it. So now the Muslim knows, the thing that makes us different, that Qur'an, that incredible gift of Allah, that was revealed in this month, this month is better than every other month, automatically. This book is better than all previous revelation, it's the ultimate revelation, the final revelation of Allah Azza wa Jal. This month must be the best month of all. The Muslim hasn't even heard about the fasting yet, but he knows this is the best month. Now maybe the next words are gonna tell us about fasting. Shahru Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an, hudan lin-nas. Qur'an is a guidance for people. The conversation is no longer about Ramadan, the conversation is about the Qur'an. The Qur'an is so important in this ayah that the subject of the, the month of Ramadan is stopped. And the conversation began about the Qur'an itself. You should get reintroduced to the Qur'an. And let me tell you what Allah says about the Qur'an in this ayah. Number one, He says, Hudan lin nas. It's a guidance for people. Do Muslims already know that? Yes. وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِنَ الْهُدَىٰ It has multiple proofs and multiple clear teachings that come from guidance. Do Muslims already know that? وَالْفُرْقَانِ And it makes a dis- distinction between right and wrong. It, criter- it, d- it dictates a criteria, a standard between right and wrong. Do Muslims already know that? Yes. Everything Allah said about the Qur'an in this ayah is something the Muslims already knew or didn't know. They already knew. What is Allah telling us? When this month comes, it's almost as though you are getting reintroduced to the Qur'an. It's like you're coming to the Qur'an for the first time all over again. Every time. You should feel like you just became a new Muslim ummah. Every Muslim should feel like he just became a Muslim. You know when somebody just becomes a Muslim, they really want to read the Qur'an. I just want to read, what does it say? What does God say to me? There's a curiosity, right? Allah wants us to have that fresh take on the Qur'an every single month. Every single month of Ramadan. Not for just the fasting, not just to get the foods. Most of us end up gaining weight in Ramadan, not losing weight. I will recite the Qur'an like I've never recited it before. I will read the same ayat like I've never read them before. This is the beauty of these ayat. The Jews believed that their book was guidance for all of mankind? No. They believed that their Torah was guidance only for them. Allah says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ Not this time. You new nation, you don't get to keep it for yourself. This will be a guidance for everyone. So you know what those words mean? Allah didn't just say, Hudan lakum. This guidance for you people. He said, Hudan lin nas. You know what that means? This month I will learn the Quran. I will reintroduce myself to it. But I know for a fact, this book will not walk itself over to the people. Who will have to give it to the people? You and I will. Because it is guidance not just for you and me, it is guidance for the... People, the month of Ramadan is a reminder that we have to share Qur'an with humanity. Just in the words, Huda nas When you share the Qur'an with humanity, they ask for proof. They ask, why do you believe this is the word of God? What's your proof? What's your evidence? Give me something. Don't they say that? Allah says in the next words, very logical, وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَىٰ Bayinat means proofs, clear evidences that come from guidance. Not only does it guide people, it proves to them that this is the guidance too. You don't have to come up with some outside evidence, the evidence is inside the Qur'an. Anybody with decency, human decency is going to see that. They're going to come to this book with the right intention, and they will find guidance and the proofs that this is guidance. It will validate that for them.
And once they accept those proofs, it will tell them which way is wrong and which way is right. Wal Furqan. It'll separate right and wrong for them. So it started with a guide, an invitation for people, a guidance for people. It'll prove itself to them. And once it proves itself to them, they will pick the right way from the wrong way because it'll draw a line for them. Don't do this and do this. Live this way and don't live this way. Subhanallah. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.